Hi students, welcome to Ardent MDS. The topic in front of you is Dental Official Orthopedic Appliances Part 2. So in previous session we saw about an orthopedic appliance called headgear. So now in this session we will see about another two types of appliances called face mask and one pertaining to mandible called chin cup. Right. So first let us go with face mask. What is a face mask? Again, face mask is one of the orthopedic appliances which are used to correct deficient maxilla. So face mask also has another name. It is called as reverse pull headgear. Why it is called reverse pull headgear? Because the face mask action is exactly opposite or exactly reverse to the conventional headgear. Okay, what does headgear do for a patient? Headgear restrains the growth of maxilla in anterior direction whereas face mask protracts the maxilla in anterior direction that's why it has got it has got a name reverse pull headgear right it is also known as nakamura appliances so face mask is also called as nakamura appliances so mainly face masks are used to correct in patients who are having deficient maxilla that's why it is used to correct growing or developing skeletal class 3 malocclusion because of deficient maxilla right so let us get in on different types of face mask one is protraction face mask by hickam we have delay face mask we have tube injured we have petit face mask and we also have grumman's type of face mask so let us get to know different types of face masks by seeing the image and these sort of images are mainly asked in many image based questions in many examinations. So let us get to know how different types of face masks would look like. So any type of face mask will have one thing in common they should have some anchor sites right just like headgear for headgear we, we had anchor site in the occipital region we have parietal region we also had a neck region similarly in case of face mask we should have some support right here in case of face mask we should pull the maxilla forward so we will have support in the forehead region and chin region so any type of face mask would have such supports so here we have a forehead forehead uh, support system and we have chin reinforcing side so this type of face mask is called as delay type of face mask delay because here it has one frame just surrounding the facial structures so this type of face mask is called as delay face mask the action and the purpose of all the face masks are the same it's just because of different authors gave different designs of the face mask then comes we have tube binger okay how to remember this type of face mask just focus on the image the image just looks like a t right so just remember if you see such kind of image this is nothing but tubinger type of face mask okay next we have petit type of face mask first what is a petit so petit is a french term which is nothing but it means small or tiny so unlike delayed type of face mask petit type of face mask doesn't have this external frame okay it just has a forehead component a chin component and a frame that runs in the center of the face okay so this is called petty type of face mask then one more thing we have this is called grumman's face mask so this type of face mask has only the forehead component it is devoid of any chin component and they say author says that this type of face mask are mainly used for suborbital protraction okay so grumman's face mask is main, mainly meant for suborbital protraction right so and coming to among these different type of face mask petty type of face mask is the one which is most commonly used in contemporary practice let us get into the different components of petty type of face mask so we have a forehead rest we have a chin cup okay which is nothing but chin rest we have a main frame and we also have a crossbar so this crossbar is used to attach extra oral elastics from this face mask 
to the inner appliance are nothing but rapid maxillary expander that is fitted on the maxilla right so this is nothing but rapid maxillary expander that is placed on the maxilla which will have a hooks on this hooks only the elastic hooks will be hooked from this crossbar so the purpose of this hook is just to hook the extra or elastics which helps the maxilla to get forward okay let us get into some review questions uh, pertaining to face mask the ideal age to use delay type of face mask in treatment of skeletal maxillary deficiency is 6 to 8 years let us be aware that 6 to 8 years is not just a number there is a biology behind that right maxilla is a bone which is articulated with the adjacent bones with many circum maxillary sutures we will have many sutures surrounding the maxilla which helps to attach the maxilla with adjacent skeletal structures for example, maxilla is attached to zygomatic bone by zygomatic maxillary suture and maxilla is attached to frontal bone by frontal maxillary suture, right? So, all these sutures will be immature during initial periods of life and as the age progresses, these sutures will become tightly interdigitated and also both the palatal shelf or both the maxilla are attached to each other by intermaxillary suture as well which runs in the mid palatal line. Okay, so when we have to protract the maxilla forward, that means when we have to take the maxilla forward to correct the maxillary deficiency, the, all the sutures has to be loosened or all the sutures should be immature. The maxilla should be set free so that it can be brought forward. That's the reason we should open the maxilla as early as possible in order to disarticulate from circummaxis sutures so that maxilla can be protracted very easily. That's the reason 6 to 8 years of age. So, this is nothing but this age denotes maturation of sutures. Right. Coming to next, coming to the next question. Rapid maxillary expansion is done prior to face mask therapy 2. What is the reason of rapidly maxillary expansion prior to face mask therapy? Let us go by one by one option. To correct posterior crossbite if present, yes, the transverse maxillary construction can be corrected by doing rapid maxillary expansion. So, this is the right option. This articulation of maxilla, yes, we just discussed about the role of circummaxillary sutures in maxilla. So, if you want to get a maxilla forward easily, we have to disarticulate from that sutures so that it can be brought forward. So, this is also one of the reasons. Next, initiate cellular response at the circummaxillary sutures. Yes, only if you initiate the response at the sutures, maxilla will be disarticulated. So, this is also one of the options. So, right option is all of above. So, the purpose of doing rapid maxillary expansion is to correct the posterior crossbite, to disarticulate the maxilla, to initiate the cellular response at the sutural levels. Right. Next, very important question. The angulation of extra over elastics from RME to face mask is 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30. Okay. Please look at this image. So, this is the elastics. Okay. So, why it has to be angulated? There is a reason behind that. So, any patient who are having skeletal maxillary deficiency in anterior posterior dimension, they will also have deficient maxilla in vertical dimension as well. That means to say that those patients who are having skeletal class 3 due to retrognathic maxilla, they will also have deficient maxilla in vertical dimension. So, in such cases, we should not only protract the maxilla, at the same time, we should extrude the maxilla a little bit downward so that all the parameters are getting corrected. That's the reason the vertical that's the reason the elastics which is uh, hooked on the crossbar of the pedit face mask to the RME appliance should never be in straight line or should not be parallel to occlusal plane rather it has to angulate to the occlusal plane of 15 to 20 degree so that maxilla is brought forward at the same time downward that's the reason for angulation of extra or elastics from protraction face mask right which of the following is indication for use of face mask appliance? Let us go by one by one option. First, the growing patient having prognathic mandible and retrusive maxilla. Yes, 
the patient is growing so that orthopedic appliance can be given and there is a retrusive maxilla yes so it can be used for that option b selective rearrangement of palatal shelves and correction of maxillary retrognathism of cleft patients yes in clcp patients or cleft lip cleft palate patients due to uh, the loss of maxillary uh, sutural areas there will be a deficient growth of maxilla in cleft lip cleft palate patients so for that patient also it can be used to correct the retrusive maxilla okay next for post surgical relapse after osteotomies okay if the patient is non growing adult okay for such patients they will go for lefortone osteotomy and they will protract the maxilla forward after surgery relapse will take a little amount to counteract the relapse adult patients will be prescribed the face mask in order to counteract the relapse after orthognathic surgery so for that also face mask can be given so option is all of the above right so with this we are finishing the face mask so just in brief what is a face mask face mask is an is an orthopedic appliance which is used to address retrusive or retrognathic maxilla right it is meant for correction of skeletal class 3 malabsorption because of maxillary deficiency it is also used to correct the or used to counteract the relapse after osteo, uh, max, uh, maxillary orthognathic surgery as well and we also saw about different types of face masks different images the components and what is the reason for angulation of extra oral traction elastics from the hook to face mask it should be 15 to 20 degree and we also saw the reason behind that okay moving on to next appliance that is chin cup chin cup is another orthopedic appliances which is pertaining only to the mandible so we had three types of orthopedic appliances one is face mask one is headgear and one is chin cup and chin cup is the one which is pertaining only to the mandible okay so this is how it looks like we have occipital pull chin cup and we have parietal pull chin cup and this is also called as vertical pull chin cup and this is called occipital pull chin cup so just like headgear these are also classified because of the source of site of anchorage here the site of anchorage is from occipital bone hence it is called occipital pull chin cup here the site of anchorage is parietal area or frontal portion of the bone so this is also called as vertical pull or high pull chin cup right what is the purpose of chin cup okay this is also used for correction of skeletal class 3 due to prognathic mandible whereas face masks are used to correct the skeletal class 3 due to retrognathic maxilla so here this chin cup restrains the growth of mandible in anterior direction thereby correction of class 3 malocclusion so this chin what this chin cup does this chin cup makes the mandible to rotate downward and backward that is it gets the mandible to rotate in clockwise direction thereby it redirects the growth of mandible thereby not worsening the class 3 malocclusion okay what is the purpose of this vertical pull chin cup let us assume the open bite patient the open bite nothing but patient have a big gap in the anterior region open bite patient or skeletal open bite is also called as upper nognathia so when the patient has open bite like this this vertical pull chin cup redirects the mandible thereby correcting the skeletal open bite as well so this vertical pull chin cup used for redirecting the growth of mandible in patients who are having high mandibular plane angle right let us see some review questions with respect to chin cup as well the ideal patient to receive chin cup therapy is okay child with developing facial asymmetry no then mild skeletal problem with the ability to bring the incisor edge to edge relationship yes this is the indication because we know the uh, uh, the skill the genetic component of class 3 for example we are aware of habsburg family from royal united kingdom so class 3 the main etiological reason of class 3 will be genetic and if the class 3 is because of genetic its uh, prognosis is very poor so patient has to go for surgery for skeletal class 3 mandibular prognathism if the etiology is genetic in origin 
so such genetic etiology can never be corrected with the help of chin cup that those patients has to be uh, postponed for orthognathic surgeries like bsso surgeries okay so familial predisposition of class 3 malocclusion familial is nothing but genetic etiology such patients are not amenable to be corrected with the help of chin cup alone they have to go for surgery cleft lip patients obviously not it's not an answer cleft cleft lip and palate is pertaining to the maxilla and dento maxillary complex not with the mandible so the option is mild skeletal problem patients who are able to get the insight in s12 relationship so this is the right answer the use of an extra oral force on seeing the signs of developing mandibular prognathism so this question is related to preventive and interceptive orthodontics we should get the clarity of definition of preventive and interceptive what is preventive orthodontics orthodontics it is an orthodontic procedures done to prevent the mal occlusion from happening whereas interceptive or the one which has a mal occlusion that is already developed but the corrections are done to avoid it from getting to worse worse stage that means in interceptive mal occlusion mal occlusion has started happening but we are intervening in very early stage so that we can stop them from becoming worsening stage so here we, you should uh, look up on the keywords please look the question carefully the use of an extra oral force on seeing the signs of developing mandibular prognathism so here already the mandibular prognathism started to develop so the answer is interceptive procedure okay what is corrective procedure corrective or the one which is done after the mal occlusion is fully established so preventive is before interceptive is just after and corrective is after establishment of mal occlusion okay so please look for the keywords developing the developing mal occlusion if you see such keywords go for interceptive procedures okay then the amount of force required to effect the mandibular changes at the condylar region is numerical value 4 to 5 grams per millimeter square so this is the option so please look for some uh, twists like centimeter square and all no it is not centimeter square it is always millimeter square okay let us see the what are the indications of chin cup so skeletal class 3 due to mandibular prognathism yes anterior open bed case definitely yes we just saw about two types of chin cup one is occipital pull one is vertical pull so the vertical pull chin cup what it does is it redirects the growth of mandible thereby making the mandible to run in counterclockwise direction counterclockwise direction thereby correcting the open bed so this is also an option can be used in patient with short face okay what is the action of normal conventional chin cup okay the patient who are having short face will have deep bite so if you use chin cup what it actually does is it makes the mandible to rotate in clockwise direction thereby masking the severity of class 3 at the same time it increases the lower anterior facial height so when the lower anterior facial height is getting increased the deep bite is getting corrected or short face is elongated so for short face also chin cup can be used so option is all of the above so please do remember that chin cup is not only meant for correction of skeletal class 3 but it also can be used for open bite and deep bite as well so the appliance which is used to correct the both open bite and deep bite is chin cup how in open bite open bite can be corrected by use of parietal pull or vertical pull chin cup and deep bed can be carried up by means of occipital pull chin cup which makes the mandible to rotate in clockwise direction right so coming to uh, summary of the orthopedic appliance session please have a look on some gold, golden points so the major disadvantage of treatment using cervical pull headgear is extrusion of the maxillary molar and the center of resistance of the maxilla is located at the posterior superior aspect of zygomatico maxillary suture or please look for the option like between the roots of premolar teeth as well and suborbital protection is done by Gramman's type of face mask and the other name of face mask is Nakamura appliance or reverse pull 
headgear is very easy to remember right it just the action is just opposite to the normal headgear then angulation of extra oral elastic from rme to face mask is 15 to 20 20 degrees this is the most recently asked question from neat mds 2020 right the amount of force required to effect the change at the condyle is 4 to 5 grams per millimeter square right then we we will we are having different uh, force prescriptions and force parameter of various orthopedic appliances so for head gear it is 350 to 450 gram or 250 to 500 gram also correct but the important point is it should be per side or each side of the face okay it can also be called as 12 to 16 ounces and duration is 10 to 12 hours per day similarly in case of face mask 350 to 400 grams per side 12 to 14 hours per day and chin cup is 300 600 grams per side and 12 to 14 hours per day so this is the force prescription for any orthopedic appliances right so we have our segment a special segment called ordn flash please have a look on it which is nothing but the whole entire session is summarized in one single slide so we have a head gear reverse pull head gear also called as face mask and a chin cup so just we saw about components force delivering unit force generating unit anchor unit and different types the types are classified based upon the source of anchorage like cervical occipital vertical and combi pull and types of face mask protraction delayed tube in the petit type grumman type and the most commonly used face mask in today practices petit type of face mask and chin cup what is the what is the purpose of chin cup to restrict the mandibular growth correct the class 3 skeletal class 3 relationship it is also used for correction of deep bite and open bite as well and force parameters head gear face mask and chin cup and please do remember the look for the options if it is given 250 to 500 and 400 to 600 please look for the option called per side or each side of the face that is very important so my dear friends i hope this session was very useful please go through the orthopedic appliance chapter in your textbook of your convenience and have a happy learning Thank you